Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeanne. And today, you guys will see how I got my hair to look like this. I saw somebody with a mullet and I was like, dang, I want a mullet, but I have locks. So I, then I looked up on YouTube lock mullet and there was only two videos. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. So guess what we did? Just that. Durr. Anyway, if you'd like to see how I did this, keep watching. I watched like two videos. I'll put the creator's names on the screen or something. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're just gonna do it, period. Cause the freak, I've always wanted a mullet. I don't even know why. First, you're going to put the middle section in a high ponytail and I would do a tight high ponytail. So I'm gonna be using these little elastic bands. I'm pretty sure I got them from like Walmart or something. So I'm going to be making these little petals. Trying to keep going. What y'all think so far? I got one that came out. Maybe I should continue it up here. This kind of looks okay, but kind of looks crazy. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, but if you didn't see what I was doing, I just took one lock, took the end, brought it to the beginning, and then put a rubber band around it or elastic. I've got some that aren't, um, like, I didn't fold them or nothing because they're short and they just kind of stick. So hold on, let me show you guys the back. Alright, I'm about to look at it in my bathroom mirror or in the phone camera and see what is up. Okay guys, so the shape of it isn't exactly what I want. So I'm gonna use some bobby pins to just like, like move this one up some so that it comes over to the side. Cause I put like the middle section in like a ponytail. <laughs> oh, why does it want to stick out? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we're just going to play with it a little bit to see, like, how I want it to lay. I don't understand why that one wants to stick out, but okay. 
and then like these two this is i have a really skinny lock over here okay that that looks a little better i like the um shape of that a little better okay i actually kind of do like this though i feel like maybe this should have been should i do that we're gonna do it so i'm just gonna bobby pin this one up because look how it falls no ma'am so we're just gonna bobby pin it up a little bit so that it gives a little like fuller effect um i'm gonna bobby pin it one more time okay i'm gonna okay i'm gonna look at myself on the camera on my phone camera i think i'm gonna do my edges real quick and then and then i'll talk to y'all in a second i actually kind of like it though not not even gonna lie i kind of i kind of i kind of like it uh so i did my edges i i did um only thing though my hair has not been retwisted in like maybe two months so i have a lot of frizz and i kind of want to like bobby pin the frizz back so that it just looks like you know because mullets are kind of like real short and then it's long it's like short real short long it's kind of like a mohawk but the hair comes over the like but only a little bit i don't know i really like mullets though like they are so cute there's that one lady who does like she cuts hair but she's like specializes in mullets or something like that i don't know where she lives and she I don't know if she's ever done like a lock patient, but girl, I'm not gonna cut my hair into a mullet. This is really cool. I think I need, do I need to re-bobby pin this? Yeah, I'm about to do it. I got like, this is my third bobby pin going back here. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! <laughs> Y'all. Bye.